It's literally not even noon yet and I'm being productive and I'm literally so proud of myself for it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Trans Tuesday. This week I kind of wanted to play off last week's topic, which was not the hot one, which you can click somewhere on this screen and be taken to that video. And I wanted to talk to you guys about gender binary and societal gender constructs. Basically, what I said last week was that there is no specific way to be a trans guy and there's nothing that you have to really fall under. And I kind of wanted to expand upon that today for just everyone in general. Now, this applies even to people who are not trans, so if you have a cis friend who could benefit from this video after you watch it, send it to them. Go ahead. This video is not exclusive for trans people. It's not even just exclusive to the LGBT community. It can apply to everybody. Gender is a made-up concept. That in itself is a very complicated and confusing thing, but it's gender constructs that people try to live by and enforce for these certain genders. For example, if you are a man or you identify as a man, people will assume that you have to be masculine or you have to present masculine and you have to wear men's clothing and the men's deodorant and the men's shaving razors and it's ridiculous. And the same for the other way. If you identify as a woman, you need to have the woman's clothes and the woman's deodorant and the woman's shaving razors. But you don't have to do any of that. It seems almost like society tells you that if you identify as something that you have to do this in order to identify as that, and it's not true. Let's use a real life example for a second. I am Riley. I am a trans masculine person, I use he him pronouns, I've been on testosterone for over a year, I'm looking into getting top surgery. And I'm wearing a crop top. But does that matter? No. That doesn't change my gender. Just because a crop top is something that is more associated with feminine people doesn't change that my gender is still male just because I'm wearing a crop top. You can do whatever you want. You can present however you want. You can act however you want. And it doesn't change the gender that you identify as. I could still be a trans man and use he him pronouns and be looking into getting top surgery if I was wearing a dress and makeup and heels. It doesn't matter. <laughs> there is no specific way to be a gender and this works for cis people too. If a cis guy wants to wear heels and a dress and makeup, that's fine let him. And if he still wants to identify as male, that's great. His pronouns are male. He's not trans. That's just how he wants to dress. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Society tends to impose these gender roles and these constructs on us from a very, very young age, and I don't think it's healthy. Parents label their children. Have you guys noticed that? Parents will label their infant children in pink or blue to tell strangers what their genitals look like. Doesn't that seem up to some of you because that seems a little screwed up to me. I don't understand why there can't be colors like yellow or orange that they dress children in because it's none of anybody else's business what your child's genitals look like. And with that, it's ridiculous how society says you have to dress like this so everybody else knows what your junk looks like. No. I don't want you to know what my junk looks like because it's none of your business. Gender is such a spectrum and so is the expression and everything along with it and there is no way to fit into a certain thing. If you identify as a man and you want to dress masculine and fall into the stereotypical manly masculine mold, go ahead, that's perfectly fine. If you want to identify as a man and wear dresses and skirts and wear makeup and do fun things like that, go ahead. It doesn't matter, that's totally fine. And same if you're identifying as a woman. If you're identifying as a woman and you wanna be super feminine and get your nails done, all of that, go ahead. If you identify as a woman and like to wear cargo shorts or other things like that, wonderful. Society likes to tell us that there's something wrong with us if we do not fit into the general molds of what they think gender should be. But there's not. There's nothing wrong with any of us if we don't fit into those molds because to be honest, nobody does. Everybody's got something about them that does not fit into the stereotypical male or female mold. And don't even get me started about how this society and these people think that there is only two genders. Or think that there's only cis people. You're either a man or a woman. You either have a vagina or a penis. Because even then, it's like completely disregard for in intersex people. 
and it's just really irritating. <laughs> but these are all videos that I will get into later. I just wanted to take this little time to tell you that you can do whatever you want. The societal gender constructs have no barrier on you as a person and you can be yourself. Don't feel like you can't be yourself or do what you want to do because society says that you can't. You can dress how you want to dress. You can act how you want to act and it doesn't define your gender. There are so many issues with the way that society perceives gender today and there's no way we're gonna get over them even in 20 years. But if we start working now at to breaking down these societal gender constructs and the gender binary of fitting into this molds of male and female, if we start breaking that down now, imagine how much better it's going to be for kids who aren't in that binary 50 years from now. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I hope that was okay. I hope that made sense. Maybe. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed that or if it helped you in any way, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what helped you with it or if you want me to make a video on a topic leading off of this topic. I don't know. Just tell me down there. Also, if you want, you can subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week. One video on Tuesday, which is a trans education video, which is what this was. And then another video on Thursday, which can be just random stuff. I don't really know how to define that. I've been trying to figure out how to define what my Thursday videos are. I guess it's just like stereotypical vlogger stuff. It's not part of a series. It's just kind of there. If you want, if you like me, you can be sure to follow me on all of my social media. I have all these different platforms. All of the links will be below, but if you don't want to click on the link, it's all at the Riley Kyle. And if you just so happen to want to see more of me, I'm on a collab channel and I post every Wednesday. So that's tomorrow for you guys. And the link is youtube.com slash quite the collab. The links to that will also be below. And I'm hosting a giveaway on Tumblr right now to win this copy of Binge by Tyler Oakley. So if you would like to know more information about that, the link to that will be below. And I'm still hosting a giveaway for gift keyboard sunglasses. I have one pair of that left. So both of those links will be below. Well, I hope that helps some of you guys and I love you all. And I guess that means I will see you on Thursday. Bye.